Hello, this is Pastor Scott, and welcome to the Daily Message. Today is Wednesday. It is May 11th. Today's devotional reading is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 19, which says, Do not store up for yourselves treasure on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get into it. Uh, links to subscribe and donate to the channel are down below. Kind of feels remotely a little bit maybe like spring out there. Um, you know, I haven't been wearing a coat the past few days. The weather seems to have turned a bit, just like, you know, a week ago. Was it a week ago that it was like 40 degrees at night and we didn't have the boiler on? I think it was this past Sunday. Seemed to have turned a bit of a corner here. I'm not saying we won't have more days that are like freezing because Michigan, it's not really safe to plant tomato plants. I have tomato plants growing and it's not safe to plant them outside until Father's Day. So I get it, I bring them outside during the day and I take them in at night. That's what spring is. It seems like maybe we've turned a corner. So yay for that. I, for one, welcome the arrival of spring and I can't wait to uh, get my shorts out. But as you can tell, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, today's joke, uh, two peanuts walk into a bar, one was assaulted. Sorry, sorry, that one made me laugh. Uh, today's sign that it is the apocalypse is that there was a guy who uh, was found dead in his home of a snake bite. And it wasn't very hard to understand why, because he had 124 snakes in his house. Like pets, like voluntarily. This person went out and gathered 124 snakes, brought them into his house, and one of them bit him and killed him. I mean, if people are getting 124 snakes in their house, like willingly on purpose, that is the apocalypse. I'm sorry. If you have if there's a house with 124 snakes in it, it is the apocalypse. That's all there is to it. But the today's sign that is not the apocalypse is that the Salem boys lacrosse team was victorious in a game yet again. That's right. They won two this year, uh, which is progress. I mean, some of these kids, it's the only two wins they've ever had in high school. So. The team is getting better. They really are. They're having fun. Um, probably lose a few more games because um, they play a few more games. But, you know, they got a couple wins, and, and I think the future is bright. So, hey, if the Salem boys lacrosse team is winning games, it can't be the apocalypse. If somebody's got 124 snakes in their house, definitely the apocalypse. You're going to have to decide for yourself. Uh, what is happening at church? There are some flowers left here from the flower sale if you want to pick up some of those. Uh, you know, we have talked for a while about um, we're not wanting to have a super spreader event here at church with COVID, and we, we still haven't, but our sisters and brothers at a local church did. So, you know, that's why we are cautious, right? If we have a gathering, a Bible study, a worship, things like that, and somebody shows up and doesn't realize they're sick, and then a couple of days later they, they test positive and other people are sick, then it's a super spreader thing. We're just trying to avoid that. So it, it has happened. And uh, it might here as well if we're not taking some precautions. So that's why you'll see the, the pastors and the worship assistants uh, who are doing communion wearing masks. And I just want to encourage you to do that yourself, right? You don't have to. We're not going to kick you out if you don't. Um, in fact, on this past Sunday, there were quite a few more people not wearing masks than there were wearing masks. And that's okay. But uh, yeah, if you want to think about it, it might be helpful. Uh, also, we're having membership inquiry. This Sunday continues week two, but if you missed week one, that's okay. Just come on, show up. If you're thinking maybe Holy Cross might be the church for you, pop into the membership inquiry program. It's uh, right around the corner uh, from the, the lobby where you, we gather for worship. So just stop in. It's in the it's a room called the meeting room. Love to have you. It'd be great. It's very low key. It's very casual. It's super great. Um, yeah, VBS signups are live. So. Uh, that's on uh, the main page of our church website, just holycrosslavonia.org. Go there, sign up your people. Be great. Uh, could use some volunteers also. Um, and then the semi-annual congregational meeting is June 5th, which is what? Two Sundays? Three Sundays. Three Sundays? Uh, yes, three Sundays. Um, and that might be four. I don't know. I should have looked it up before I talked. It's coming up in a few weeks. That'll be after the 10 o'clock worship. And uh, we're going to vote on some stuff. We're going to have some council votes on elections. We're going to have uh, a vote on the roof plan. 
and you know it's a chance to hear about what's going on and and celebrate you know i mean we we've been doing great stuff in the quarantine and and great stuff in the past year and let's celebrate that right let's celebrate it sounds fun all right so today's devotion is matthew 6 verse 19 which says do not store up for yourselves treasure on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal you know i've just been thinking about that uh because we lost a car uh it died tragically and then i ended up buying two cars in two days um and the one car is on order but it hasn't shown up yet and the money's sitting in my account and so like the insurance money and the money that i put in my bank account to, to and so all of my money just feels like it's i've kind of taken it and just gone whew, like thrown it up in the air and i'm, I'm waiting for it to to settle i'm waiting to, once all the money comes out i have to pay taxes yet there's just all kinds of just, just kind of threw it all up in the air and i i mean i tried like i'm not like an idiot like we did math okay you know to figure but it it's just all kind of up in the air and um for me that creates anxiety uh people view money in different ways um some people view money as a way to go have fun right like oh i got money i'm gonna go spend it because it, it's fun that's what money's for um some people like me view money as safety right like if i have money in the bank then i feel safe because if something bad happens something goes wrong i have to buy something then i know that i have what i need to survive um, so this devotion is for you people like you because this verse talks about that it talks about storing up treasure right and it says do not store up for yourselves treasure on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal right what is what is enough money to have in your bank account to feel safe what is enough security to have so that you feel like you have enough the answer is if you're like me nothing nothing there is no amount of money that is enough to make some of us feel safe it just isn't um, it could be a bajillion bajillion dollars It'd be like ah, yeah but you know it could all go south right some of us like me will find an excuse to worry <laughs> it's just well this verse cautions against that right against putting so much away right or or viewing that as the solution to life's problems it isn't right the solution to my anxiety isn't to have more money the solution to my anxiety is faith and trust right not 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 hoarding more not gathering more not i'll i'll, I'll never have enough maybe you won't have enough either it might be for completely different reasons but you might be in the same boat where you just will never have enough so if you don't have enough if you'll never have enough the solution is not to gather more it's not to keep more the solution is to change the way we look at it right and so i try and view my money now as a as a as a gift from god that i can use to in part save for a rainy day but also to enjoy and that means both you know going out to dinner and doing fun things and also giving right the joy of giving it away and i find that that if i give more away i feel a greater sense of security because i've lived on less right if i give away a hundred dollars well i'm you know i'm gonna get out i lived look i had a perfectly happy life and i gave away a hundred dollars or three hundred dollars or whatever it is i had a perfectly happy life i don't need it this is about this verse isn't about you know not putting money in the bank so that for a rainy day it's about how we view money and possessions and and how we can come to rely on it for our sense of security when um you know god is the source of our security and so you know that's what we're going to pray about today we're going to pray for god to just kind of show us uh, a path of relying on god instead of relying on on stuff and money for our security and if you're a different kind of person there are probably other things that you rely on for your security we all need to feel safe right um unless you're just the kind of person who like you know lives in a van all the time and just drives around and never has to worry about it which that's that's the case good for you but that's not me and that's probably not most of us we all have our things that we rely on for security but we're not safe there's no amount of money i could ever have to make sure i had enough security there's no amount of protection that i can give myself to ensure that a bad thing won't happen um there's no amount of health stuff that I can take that will ensure that I won't get sick. There just aren't guarantees in life. And so let's pray for the, us to not need guarantees and to be able to live as people of faith who walk forward, not because we think nothing bad's going to happen, 
but because we know bad things are going to happen and God's going to be with us and get us through. So let's pray. Let's get comfortable. Comfy in your chair. I'm going to put my feet on the ground. I'm going to take three deep breaths. God, help us to rely on you. Help us to rely on you and to know that we're, we're not safe. And that's okay. We're not safe because you're going to be with us in this life and in the life to come. Help us, Lord, to not build up idols and false uh, worship of things that, that we think will make us feel safe or give us what we need. Help us instead to turn to you in all things, to rely on you, and to count on you as our Lord to take care of us in, in the good times and in the bad times. Lord, help us to trust you rather than the things of this world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, like I said, you know, my all my money's just kind of been thrown up in the air and we'll see how it lands. But Jesus is still risen. That hasn't changed. His tomb is still empty. That has not changed. So I know things are crazy. But be smart. Stay safe. Love everybody. I'll see you soon.